Okay, so there is the oily residue hole of spark plug number one into cylinder number one. And we go down through the hole and bang, straight into <laughs> the piston uh, for cylinder number one. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and today we're back out on the Porsche 924. I've covered about three or 400 miles now in the last four to six weeks, driving at weekends when the weather's been good and it's been fantastic. So what I do want to check now is some of the consumable service items just to see how everything's operating, mainly the engine. So I have one of these, which is like a bore scope, uh, which plugs into your phone, neat little uh, items that allows me to go down through the spark plug hole and actually check what's happening inside the engine. So I want to look at the pistons and uh, also the valves and just the general condition inside the engine. So this is what I'm going to do. I want to just see how everything's operating, see the condition of the spark plugs because everything was new when I put this uh, engine back together from top and bottom. I just want to see how everything is. So um, let's get out there, get this uh, set up on the phone and uh, see what we can find. Okay, so it's time to look inside the engine and in particular in through the cylinders through the holes where the spark plug sits using one of these neat little devices. It's uh, a bore scope <coughs> and this particular one just connects to your phone and uh, has LED light and so on. So hopefully, all being well, we can actually get in there and have a look. It's a slightly awkward angle, um, but hopefully we've got enough wire to get into the hole and have a look around. So let's uh, get unplugging these spark plugs and take a look. Okay, so you saw me remove spark plug number one, which is here, and as you can see, it's in very good condition, and uh, looks like the picture, as in the Haynes manual, although I would say even better than the picture, <laughs> as you can see, you can see all the different types of, uh, I guess, uh, diagnostics that you can see just by looking at your spark plug, and uh, that top one, sort of a white mark with maybe uh, sort of a black top. If I can just get that to focus, is uh, is bang on. So we have a healthy cylinder one in terms of the ignition and what the spark plug looks like based on the manual. The next thing to do is actually uh, have a look inside of the cylinder itself and uh, see if this bore scope that I've bought actually works and uh, shows us what's going on. Okay, so there is the oily residue hole of spark plug number one into cylinder number one and we go down through the hole and bang, straight into <laughs> the piston uh, for cylinder number one and as I just uh, move about here you will see there's lots of carbon buildup and deposits which I expected so that is a, a good start and as we bring the camera back out the main thing we're looking for is anything that might look out of place so any type of metallic show any objects that shouldn't be in there likewise any metallic or shiny parts on top of the piston that would uh, show there's been some sort of interference where there shouldn't be as we know these are non-interference engines so there shouldn't be any type of uh, issues like that that occur 
So from this angle, everything looks pretty good on top of the piston and uh, I'm very happy with that. So as I said, the usual deposits expected after sort of a 90,000 mile uh, running period, I guess, with the engine. So all is good there. Very hard to see the sides of the wall. So from that perspective, we'll leave it there and come back out and move on to cylinder number two now. Okay, so this is spark plug number two and as you can see this one is in uh, good condition as well again very similar to that top picture it's got a bit of oily residue <coughs> which is quite common uh, because uh, I think back in the day a lot of uh, advice was to grease the threads of spark plugs as you put them back into the car I know that was something Porsche used to advise so there's always a, a slight greasy deposit and if there has been any leaks from the rocker cover gasket over time the first place it leaks down into are the spark plug wells so otherwise that looks good so I'll give that a clean up and put that one back in and we'll have a look inside the cylinder to see what's going on okay here is cylinder two and down through the spark plug we go firstly we bump into the exhaust valve as expected and with the cylinder showing that the piston is way down we get to see the sides of the walls of the cylinder which all look good nothing out of place and there is the piston so what is very different about this piston is it looks extremely clean so that is very interesting I'm not aware of any previous work on uh, the pistons themselves for this engine so it looks like this one is holding up far better than maybe the first one in terms of carbon build up but uh, that being said we getting a very close uh, <laughs> very close in on the uh, the valve itself and back to the piston all looks very good to be fair the walls look very good there's nothing that uh, looks too out of place and just bringing the camera back out we can see back on the oily deposits so yeah i think that for me is another good uh, cylinder and all looks well Okay, so we're into cylinder number three. There's the spark plug. As we know, this uh, engine is a 1342 firing order. So, although this is cylinder three, this is uh, actually cylinder four in the firing order. So, as we go down through the hole, again, we bump straight into the piston, and uh, you can see the usual buildup of carbon, which is expected. Just bumping around now into the cylinder wall we can see that everything is good there and 
hopefully we can spin this around and get a better view there we go of the piston and there's a uh, I think what I what looked like yeah a small mark there a little X not 100% sure what that means so if anyone watching does know then please drop a comment but uh, yeah general condition of the piston is as expected and there you can see the cutouts for the valves to make sure that there's no interference as, as we know this is non-interference so yeah everything looks nice and tight and good there nothing unexpected no silver metallic deposits um, and this was the this was the cylinder that we actually had the uh, sticking valve so everything looks good there and uh, we have one cylinder left to go to the last cylinder into cylinder number four or number two in the firing order as they would say and uh, straight away we're down through the hole and bump into the piston which is expected so you expect one and and uh, two to be high up uh, in the firing order with three and four to follow afterwards to get that balance as the crank turns so yeah the first things that you see good uh, deposit of carbon as expected so nothing out of the normal there and uh yeah getting in close so you can get a really good uh, view of that uh that build up but uh otherwise like the other cylinders no metallic pieces nothing out of the normal so everything should be firing and working as normal uh, the spark plug conditions have told us that and shown us that so i don't expect to see anything a bit crazy in here so from that perspective another cylinder that is in good condition and uh, all the pistons through the engine are as expected which is great so one working finely tuned engine <laughs> so uh, let on to the rest of the work Okay, so all the spark plugs look good. We've had a look inside the cylinders and uh, nothing looks too crazy in there. Usual carbon buildup, but uh, nothing other than that, uh, which is great. All the HT leads look good. So all is working as it should be there, which is great. Next thing to look at is the dipstick and the oil and uh, just check the condition of the oil. Okay, so as you can see, the oil looks nice and clean. It's just above the halfway mark, so three quarters, which is perfect. Nothing uh, too crazy in there. So, again, that is great to see. And uh, everything is working as it should be. Okay, so next thing to check is the coolant. Um, you would have seen from previous videos that I have uh, flushed the system and uh, replaced the 
the coolant with G48. So let's just make sure that everything is looking good. Cap looks good. Inside looks good. I know it's not picking up perfectly well, but uh, believe me that you can just see it there. The level is good. It's on the max. So everything there is good to see as well. So engine firing okay with spark plugs, oil good, coolant good. Let's have a look inside the airbox, see what the air filter looks like. Right, so you can see the filter is in uh, good condition and uh, nothing too crazy inside either, which is great. So coolant, air filter, oil, spark, and then finally the brake fluid, which looks fine. The engine, well, I should say fine. The uh, car's on a slight uh, tilt, so that's why it's tilting towards the back of the uh, reservoir there, as you can see. But otherwise, that is all good. So um, I'm very happy that uh, after the last sort of three, four hundred miles that I've done, after all the work, everything is uh, looking as it should and working as it should. So that is a very quick check of the car after doing uh, a few weekends of driving. So the final final check is just the fuel pump that I fitted and the new fuel lines just to make sure there is no visible leaks. There certainly isn't a smell of fuel which is good. So everything looks nice and tight and buttoned up. So the in-tank fuel pump, the outer fuel pump which I've done previous videos on, on how I put that all back together. But everything looks good to go. And uh, as you can see, I've undersealed a lot of places just to make sure that none of those bolts rust like uh, I had last time. So, everything is good. Okay, that's a wrap for today. So I've gone through all the checks I wanted to to make sure that the fluid levels are good, the way the engine is performing is good. So spark plug check, inner workings of the uh, cylinders, the pistons and everything look good. Usual carbon build up, but other than that, all good. Check the fuel pump, all the pipe work that I've done back there. No leaks, no smell of fuel, which is great. So the car is performing exactly as I hoped after all of the work that I've completed on it. So trouble free motoring touch wood ahead <laughs> but uh, other than that what um, I need to now move on to are some of those jobs that I just need to complete to finish off the front end of the car certainly the mechanicals and the brakes so that that's a, a job that's coming very soon and some interior work so if you're enjoying the videos and you're liking the story and the journey that uh, I'm doing with my Porsche 924 then please do subscribe please like and comment it does really help me out and uh, the next videos will be along very soon.